Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across an issue with your mouse cursor not being able to scroll off the screen if you have a dual monitor setup. So let's say for example you're trying to move your mouse off the screen and you're hitting into the imaginary wall and it's not letting you connect to your other monitor so your mouse isn't just transferring over to the other screen. This tutorial will be for you. So we're going to jump into it and start by opening up the start menu, just off on the start button one time, type in settings, best match to come back with settings, so go ahead and left click on that. Now you want to select the system tile, select display on the left side, and since I don't actually have a dual monitor capabilities for this virtual environment, you would see if you did have a second monitor hooked up, there should be two boxes over here on the right, it should say one and two. You are welcome to move them around, so if you notice one and two are like right next to each other and two is blue, so blue means the current monitor or the primary monitor. If you currently have that one selected, you're not going to be able to move further to the right or left, obviously depending on where it's oriented. So the blue one is the one that's currently the main monitor, so if you want to just take number two and move it over before number one, or vice versa if you had the visual display right here, that should be able to resolve the problem because basically your mouse is not recognizing that the other screen maybe is on the other side of the actual monitor, so it doesn't actually know where your physical monitor is set up, so you have to kind of tell it where it is, and also you can actually move it up and down a little bit as well, so if it's a small monitor you can adjust it so that the mouse more seamlessly moves from one screen to the other. So just a little bonus tip there for you guys as well. So I do hope that this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out, and as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.